Well, look at the sun. It's out this morning. We have a lot to do today. So, it's been three-ish years since we've talked. I know time has been going by real fast, but it is the 1990s now. There's been a lot of new equipment, and I mean a lot, and I'm sure you can go ahead and see part of it right here. We have an all-new Kinsey 3200. Man, these things are brand new. It's going to be awesome. We got the 4455. This thing is an absolute powerhouse. And then there's quite a bit I want to show you around the farm that has changed. So starting us out, no, I haven't got rid of the 250. This truck is just too beautiful. We've been keeping real nice, clean, and care of it, so it's not going anywhere. But what I want to get into is in here. So that's right, 1066, going nowhere. This is still my favorite tractor of all time. Uh, just can't get rid of it. We still use it for basically a few things around the farm, but nonetheless, we're going to come over here and look at this brand new 8670 New Holland. Man, this thing's pretty. We have a new New Holland dealership down the road, and we had got to snag this because it was just too clean. We needed a big power tractor, and behind it, we have a brand new John Deere disc as well. Man, this thing is going going to rip up some ground. Over here we still have the 7000 series planner. We use this to scotch and beans or if we want to run two at once we get that. And then we also have the 4755. We do not have the dual sport. We've thought about purchasing them but we haven't. And then we have a brand new three point hitch John Deere sprayer. This thing is top notch and it can get a lot of acres done fast. But that's enough in this shed. We'll leave that open because I think we're going to disc a little bit. Maybe. I don't know yet. And we're going to come over here and show you a little bit around what has changed. So as you see, these have sat in the same spot. And as we'll pan around here, you can see that, oh, there's the combine. And it has been sitting here for about three years now. As you can tell, this thing got done the last harvest season you guys saw. And it has sat here ever since, as well as this cultivator over here here man it just got put back here and they are shown no love we've thought about trading them off but uh, I think they're just gonna have to sit there so coming around this corner I'm not gonna give it up immediately but I think you can tell we have invested into a new combine because we have some new brand new heads we got a new bean head as well as a corn head and then coming over here every once in a while we use this it's not a regular so it sits over here not too much care um, from it but nonetheless we we do have the truck over here as well as our 986 and then the sprayer. Those have been abandoned as well. I know I'm sorry. A lot of fans love that, but the setup just had to go. Coming over here, yes, we still do have our 4055. It does not get used, but we maintenance it just in case anything goes down. And we are still running the same 500 series John Deere grain cart. This thing is a tank, and there hasn't been really anything else out on the market that has enticed us as well. And then finally, the huge reveal. I know what you guys are going to say. There's no way your prices were this good, but let me tell you, we had a bumper crop back to back to back. We were able to purchase a bunch of stuff, and uh, we're just super blessed. So starting us off, we have a bunch of old dump trailers. So we got two old dump trailers that we bought off of a rock hauling company. These things are pretty good condition, and they're really good for hauling grain. Then we have a brand new Mack truck, as well as the the other Mack truck, we got this one in blue and that one in black. And then here is the big reveal, then John Deere 9400 on duels. Uh, I've got to admit, we have picked up a lot of ground, so it's going to be a challenge getting all done this year, but I really think we can do it. Now, we could go over hours and hours of new equipment, how we got it, and how it went into play, but I think the best thing to do is just go ahead, get in the new tractor, and just showcase it off, because we've worked real hard for all this new equipment, and being the first year with it, I think it's going to be awesome. So the 4455 is absolutely mint, guys. This thing is just beautiful. It's brand new. I think we're going to try to keep this in good condition because I got a feeling these might be worth something one day. Oh, we're on our second pallet, man. We've been throwing bags and this thing is starting to get full, but I think we have a few more bags gone and then I think we can go ahead and get some corn planted on the 1st of May. Man, this is going to be a great year. All right, this 3200 is folded out. It is ready to go, and I think we can't hold on much longer. I think we just have to jump right into it and go ahead and knock this field out, man.
Ah, uh, coming out here, man, I heard something loose. I don't really know what it is. I guess we better raise this thing up. I mean, I'm gonna have to grab seats shortly anyways, but I'm really hoping I didn't do anything here. All right, and that is done. So actually, all that was happening is the closing wheels were loose and the firmer was loose as well. So we got that all good. And as you can see, we had the neighbor boy bring over the sprayer. I'm probably going to let him finish off planning in a little bit. And we are going to go ahead and finish up this spring. We got to kill off these weeds. It's a lot. Uh, so we can get in here and just get up and then plant a good crop. All right, so we got the neighbor about to run up there. We have our wings unfolded. Tank is all full of herbicide, and I think we're ready to get after it. Likely the light of mine was burn out. The mountains rest in my rambling years. I paid my sins from the poor traveling days. Oh, Lord, please, can't you hear my prayers? So I rode my body, rode body up the mountain, up the mountain to a place where I can sit my rocking chair. Rode my body, rode his body up the mountain, up the mountain, and I'm never going back again, I swear. Most likely the son of mine will be found in the mountains where I'm born and raised. I paid my duty as a sunny side cutie. Oh Lord, hear the sorrow in my heart. I rode my body, rode his body up the mountain, up the mountain, to a place where I can sit in my rocking chair. I rode my body, rode his body up the mountain, up the mountain, and I'm never going back again. I swear. Alright, so we're getting out of the 4755. We have got that sprayed. I didn't want to walk out in that, so we did pull it up, but nonetheless, I think we are about done. It looks like the neighbor's finishing up on our cornfield behind us, so I think we will uh, go finish that, and then I think we're going to be pretty good standing for the day. And here we are on the last pass. We are going to meet the end right about now. We'll pick it up. First field of plant 1993 is done. So we are going to go over and stage this in the next field just out yonder. And I think, ooh, it might need some spray on it because the weeds are going to pop in. We'll probably plant it and then spray it. That'd make more sense. But until then, we're just going to put this over here. Should be able to park it there. And uh, I think we're good for that part. Now we did come over here to the New Holland because I am going to put this over here by this field because we're going to have to tear this up next. Let's try not to hit the seed. Oh, there we go. We missed it. We're going to put this right in here. We'll give ourselves enough room to not step in the pesticide. And uh, I think that will be our next tasks. Alrighty, so I think we're sitting pretty good for the day. I have an agronomy meeting I have to run to or else, you know, we would be going until just we couldn't see anymore. Um, the week looks good and we still don't have like a lot, a lot of acres but we're picking up more. So nonetheless, I'm going to go ahead, get showered, and then we have to go to that meeting. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing on 